Once again, it's time for some horrible maps. This time, instead of waiting a whole year for the next episode, I figured end of April, about three months after the last episode, would be soon enough. I mean, there's plenty of bad maps out there and plenty more to come. So let's get into the third episode of Horrible Maps. For our first map, or rather, for six maps, this is something I found out about after listening to the Talkernet History podcast, where they talked about how there were Operation Desert Storm playing cards. And those cards sometimes were countries. Link in the description of that episode if you're interested. But these cards obviously have a lot of problems. Very sloppy. On this one, Guatemala ate Belize, and this one, Debrilla is apparently its own country. I also just love how two cards that both show the Middle East both look sloppily inaccurate, yet are still different from each other. So, with six bad maps, we're already off to a wonderful start. Six out of ten. For the next one, we have a flag map of the world in 2012. So, a uh, few things to note. The Qing Dynasty and Russian Empire are apparently still alive and well in 2012. The U.S. also conquered Canada and Mexico. Morocco and Turkey partitioned the Arab world except for Libya. I don't even know what flag they used for India. And the Netherlands took over France, and then France fled to Central Africa and formed their own empire there. Obviously, it goes without saying that this is pretty awful. 3 out of 10. Maybe we can find a better... Fl ah! No, no, I refuse to believe this map is real. 1 out of 10. Move on. So now we have a classic bad 1900s Europe map. The good news is the coastlines are excellent. The bad news is the country borders are not. Western Europe looks fine until you notice Alsace-Lorraine isn't German when it should be. Then, of course, Poland is shown as independent, which sadly was not the case in the year 1900. Austria-Hungary is not only weirdly split up, but its northern border is very bad. My favorite part, though, is somehow the Greeks conquered the Ottoman Balkans, Serbia, and Montenegro. They even took back Constantinople. I'm sure many from the Hellenic Republic find this map beautiful, but alas, it is inaccurate. Greek fantasy out of ten. So this map is one of those maps that I have no idea how it got approved. I mean, you could say that about most of these, but this one wasn't something that a lot of masses could look over, like sloppy coastlines, inaccurate borders, or maybe a missing island or two. This one has Spain and Portugal ramming into Africa. I mean, the poor Basque community just got ran over by the Pyrenees Mountains, not to mention Gibraltar's rock probably got smashed by Algeria. Oh yeah, and the low countries are missing too. But hey, at least I know Turkey has this leaf. That's cool. Two out of ten. So for the next map, it's some election map for Canada. There's not really anything much to say other than, Dear Lord, why would you color in the Northern Islands like that? Like, why would you color in the sea with the land? I mean... If you squint close enough, you can barely see the islands underneath, but still, blech. 4 out of 10. Although this isn't really much of a map to end with. Let's find a no- Oh no, not one of these maps again. 0 out of 10. I am not ending with this map either. Surely we can find a bad map that's not just someone swapping coastlines on Photoshop. What on earth? Okay, I have many questions here. Brazil is just mutated? Australia just took over the Pacific Ocean and turned Japan, Indonesia, and the Philippines into lakes. Switzerland apparently took over Venetia, then conducted the Atlantropa plan so they could colonize the Mediterranean. Iran took over the Caspian Sea. Norway took over Denmark, the Baltic Sea, part of the Arctic Ocean. Meanwhile, Russia is an ocean. Is this, like, is this red Mediterranean thing supposed to be, like, a revived Roman Byzantine Empire or something? I mean, this, this, this whole map is just all over the place. It's like if Picasso, no, not, not even Picasso would make a map like that. But on the bright side, it's always good to see that on a disease map that Madagascar closed off everything and has no data. This is the map that I am officially rewarding the coveted nope out of ten. Thanks for watching the video and be sure to subscribe if you want to see videos with good maps instead of bad ones so you can bleach your brain from the bad maps that I just showed you. You can also support my channel with my Patreon, link in the description. I'm Emperor Tigerstar and I'll see you guys next time.